The Bitcoin Futures ETF got approved a couple of weeks ago. It went out into the market and it has received the first one over a billion dollars of capital inflows. The second one went out. It's also received hundreds of millions of dollars of capital inflows. But everyone is still asking, why the hell is there not a Bitcoin spot ETF? The Bitcoin Futures ETF gives people some exposure to Bitcoin, but it's through futures. It is not through actually buying the asset itself. If we're to look at something like Grayscale's Bitcoin Trust, GBTC, it is more closely tracking the price of Bitcoin than the futures products have so far. So everyone wants to know, when do we get the Bitcoin spot ETF? Grayscale with that GBTC product that has tens of billions of dollars of assets already in it, but does not have a redemption function. It is a trading, it's a trust that trades publicly, but it is not the ETF structure. They're trying to convert their trust into an ETF, but everyone wants to know who's going to be the first. And so Van Eck recently had a spot ETF that they had filed for. The, the Bitcoin spot ETF ended up getting denied last week. That spot application from Van Eck had a lot of the exact same concerns that they've had with previous Bitcoin spot ETF applications. So Van Eck, what did they do? They decided they're going to launch a Bitcoin futures ETF. It'll debut on the Chicago-based exchange, the CBOE, sometime at the end of this week or early next week. The Van Eck futures ETF has been delayed since the approval. They got approval for the futures ETF in late October. It was supposed to launch October 25th. But the company officials had declined to comment since then on why the new fund had not launched yet. So they're still trying to figure out what's going on there. Other future other futures ETFs, as I mentioned, have already been a success. In October, the ProShares Bitcoin ETF has gathered more than $1 billion in investor assets. It's the fastest ETF ever to hit that milestone. And the Valkyrie Investments futures ETF started trading at the end of the same week and also has gotten lots of traction. We have, of course, the spot Bitcoin ETF application watch underway. Who's going to be the first to get that approval? What investors uh, want to see, or I'm sorry, uh, is that they want the spot ETF because they want to get direct exposure. They want to get better price uh, kind of alignment with the actual asset rather than the futures. But the regulators are worried. They want to know that investors will be safe. They want to make sure that there's no manipulation in the market. And so we've got to continue to wait for that to occur. We have this quote here from the SEC. They said the commission has consistently required that the listing exchange have a comprehensive surveillance sharing agreement with a regulated market of significant size related to Bitcoin or demonstrate that other means to prevent fraudulent and manipulative acts and practices are sufficient. The listing exchange has not met that requirement. And so there's a whole bunch of different things that you can read into this. The, one of the reasons why the Bitcoin spot ETF has not been approved yet is because many of the exchanges that trade Bitcoin spot do not actually meet the requirements from the SEC in terms of the surveillance uh, capabilities. What that means is that they are not overseeing the actual assets and the, and the players the way that the SEC wants them to. So we basically have a showdown or a standoff. They're just going to stand there and the exchanges are going to keep trading. They're going to keep booking all this revenue for any individual investor that wants to go onto a crypto native exchange and they want to buy Bitcoin. They can do that. They can go and get that exposure to the asset. But anybody who wants to buy it via an ETF structure, they are still not able to do it in a spot nature. They are simply looking for some sort of futures-based exposure. And so ultimately, if we saw the future ETFs come into the market and get over $1 billion worth of assets in a very short period of time, actually the fastest ever, my guess is that a spot ETF would absolutely be explosive. You could see something where literally in the first week, a Bitcoin spot ETF could go from zero to like five billion dollars in assets. And it would be something that would be absolutely breathtaking. So do we worry at all about the spot ETF uh, getting uh, denied uh, the application from Van Eck last week? Or was this, this was expected? I think it was expected. Yeah, I saw, I uh, uh, it was one of the two Bloomberg ETF guys that we had on here. I forget which one. Uh, but one of them, James or Eric, that's their yeah, names. No, I know. One of the two of them. I, I think <laughs> 50, it was Eric, but I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it was Eric, but he basically put up what the odds were. And there was like 24 NFL teams that had a higher odds to win the Super Bowl. Right. So just on a scale that of like Eric. how likely. Yeah, that was Eric. Yeah. Was Eric, yeah, yeah. So uh, Eric put it up. And uh, just from a likelihood that it was to get approved, the odds were a very long shot. So no one was really expecting this. I think it'll happen eventually. Uh, but I think people are going to grow impatient after a while. Right. Like, what are you really protecting people from at this point? They have the ability to go buy the spot option in markets directly right now. All you're doing is you're you're not allowing them to have uh, the price appreciation or see the price appreciation that we've seen over the last eight to 10 to 12 years. So I think uh, when you start to think about what are they protecting investors from? People are going to start to complain. But I don't think that uh, this was much of a surprise. I think it's more will be a surprise if it doesn't happen within the next 12 to 24 months. John, what do you think? 
Uh, I was not su su surprised that the Vanek spot ETF did not get approved. Their futures ETF starts trading tomorrow. Look, institutions are starting to fall behind in my mind of not being able to get access to some of this stuff due to their compliance and the regulations and all the risks that they have going on um, that they have to abide by. But look, when they approve, if and when they approve, the SEC approves a spot ETF, they need to approve a bunch at the same time. Otherwise, one person will have an unfair advantage, I believe, in um, just getting all that capital.